All right, you guys, this is my intro. You guys know what you're here for because you clicked on the video. We're doing the China Glaze Spring 2023 Hello Sugar Collection, and I'm obsessed. <laughs> All right, first up, here we have Here Comes the Candy. And you guys, I did mention something about a different kind of finish in some of these polishes on my Instagram, and I'm still trying to figure out if there is or if there isn't. I notice it in the lighter colors, but I don't notice it in the darker colors. So I'm not sure if it's just the white pigment that these polishes have in it or what. So, okay, getting right into this first one, Here Comes the Candy is a gorgeous pale pink. You guys, I want to go back and show you the second coat of this. I wanna show you how runny some of these polishes are. So you can see here that the polish is running down the back of the handle and it really can flood the cuticle. So you have to be careful and really watch that, especially on this one. And I feel like the yellow one were really bad. The others weren't so bad, but this one was really hard to work with. So, so there is gonna be a learning curve with this one and figuring out how to apply it but it's absolutely gorgeous and I love it. And then getting right into different lighting. So I didn't even show my pictures of the studio lighting because these polishes are so bright, it completely throws the camera off. But these two photos right here, that's an accurate representation of the polish color. And I love this one so much. I wish I liked the formula more. I probably did five or six takes trying to get this polish to apply well before I actually got it to apply well. I still think it's worth it and you guys can see in the comparisons here if, if you think there are any dupes. So, so first up here we have Essie Free to Roam, Essie Airspun Fun, and Essie Fiji and these are all warmer toned than Here Comes the Candy. Here Comes the Candy literally looks like cotton candy. It's so pretty. And then here, if you see the asterisk, the asterisk does mean those polishes are available at Beyond Polish. I have a 10% off affiliate code at Beyond Polish. That code is BIV10. So back to the polishes. So here you have Morgan Taylor Adorably Clueless, Morgan Taylor Bed of Petals, and Essie Backseat Besties. No dupes there. Next up, I thought Essie Say by the Bell and maybe Baguette Me Not. Those are pretty similar to each other and then Essie French Affair is kind of along that purpley vibe, but they are more purple than Here Comes the Candy. And then Zoya Gwen, you can see, is not as bright. Next up, we have Zoya Maddie, Zoya Tweety, and OPI Getting Naughty on My Honeymoon. No dupes there. And last but not least here, we have OPI Mod About You, and that was probably the closest here. And then OPI Nature Strong Natural Movement and OPI Getting Naughty on My Honeymoon again there. So you can see how all of those compare. All right, next up here we have Kid in a Candy Store. And this has a pretty good formula. I did do three coats here, but they're an easy three coats. It's not like the first polish where it was really runny. This one's much, much better as you can see in the swatch here. And this is more of a Barbie pink, whereas the other one, like I said, was more of a cotton candy pink. This one does also dry matte. So if you don't like a matte finish, make sure you add a shiny top coat. But this is an absolutely gorgeous polish. And then moving along to comparisons, here we have Essie Strike a Rose. I only pulled that one out because it's a neon and I don't have a ton of polishes that are close to Kid in a Candy Store, so I thought I would throw that in there. Um, you can see how Kid in a Candy Store compares to Here Comes the Candy here, and then OPI Racing for Pinks, which is probably, it's a similar tone, but maybe a little bit darker. And then next up here, I just wanted to pull out Orly Kaleidoscope Eyes to show you guys how that compares to Here Comes the Candy, and you can see it's quite a bit more purple. All right, now on to the yellows. So this yellow does not have my favorite formula. Most yellows don't have my favorite formula, but I absolutely love how bright this yellow is. You'll see in my comparisons that I don't have a lot of yellows that are quite this bright. Most of the yellows that I have are like true yellows instead of brighter yellows. And I did not notice that finish in this polish. So once again, I'm not even sure if it's a finish that I'm noticing. I'm just noticing something in some of them. So I think I'm just making things up actually. <laughs> and then here you can see how the polish looks in different lighting. And I would say it's very accurate in front of my refrigerator. And I love that these polishes are so bright in just normal everyday life instead of just being bright in studio lighting. Okay, and then getting into the comparisons, here we have Essie Expressy Shook, 
SE Summer Solstice and SE All Fun and Games. And Summer Solstice is the closest, but it's still quite a bit more muted. And then I pulled out some China Glaze Brights just because we're doing a China Glaze collection. And China Glaze Yellow Polka Dot Bikini and Tropic Like It's Hot are all a bit more green. Okay, next up is Sweeter Than Sugar. And this is another one with a great formula. This is a two-coater. This is one of the two two-coaters in this collection. And it's a must-have. You guys, I really think all of these are must-haves. The yellow and the cotton candy pink, maybe not so much. If you don't like taking a little bit more time with formulas, but all of these are great polishes, they're great colors, and I think they will look fabulous on anybody. And then here you can see what this polish looks like in the indoor lighting, and I would say that is the most accurate representation of this polish. Okay, next up is Gimme Sugar, <laughs> and this is another gorgeous polish. It's a little bit more of a peachy cream and it's a three coater that's super easy to apply so it's not like the first cotton candy pink was it's more along the lines of a normal three coater i still use caution with it though because <laughs> i was scared after <laughs> after applying that first polish um, and then here you can see how this polish looks in the different lighting and i would say they're both pretty accurate i would say the refrigerator picture is probably a bit more accurate and then getting right into comparisons. Here we have OPI Nature Strong, Let Nature Take Its Quartz, which is a more muted. And then China Glaze Flip Flop Fantasy. That's the new version of Flip Flop Fantasy. So you can see how those compare. And here you can also see that Gimme Sugar is a bit more of a peach, whereas Sweeter Than Sugar is a little bit more of a coral. The next up here we have China Glaze Eco Glaze Playful Poppy. I love that polish. I love the China Glaze Neons, actually, the Eco Glaze Neons. They did a great job on those. Um, and then China Glaze Eco Glaze Stargazer Mishi. So you can see how those compare. I've got quite a few polishes to list off that were more orange, so I didn't compare. So Orly Tangerine Dream, OPI Trading Paint, China Glaze Son of a Peach, China Glaze Delta Darling, China Glaze Sunny You Should Ask, and China Glaze Tangerine Heat were all more orange. So I didn't want to bore you guys with too many comparisons. So um, that'll let you guys know how those compare. And then here you can see Essie Beachy Keen, which has a little bit more pink and it's a little bit more muted and Orly Artificial Orange. So you can see how those compare. Next up here we have Essie So Gifted and Color Club East Austin, which if you guys don't own that polish, go grab it now because it's gorgeous. <laughs> I also wanted to throw out there that China Glaze Sunset Crew was more muted. Essie Talk to the Sand is lighter and Essie Souls on Fire was more orange. And then last but not least here for the comparisons, we have Morgan Taylor, It's My Moment, Essie Excuse Me Sir, and Essie in Full Swing. So you can see how all of those compare. I also will let you know, sorry, there were just so many polishes that I thought you guys might, guys might be interested in hearing how they compare. So. Essie Junk Couture Coastal Couture is lighter. Essie Peach Side Babe has more orange in it. And then Essie Around the Bend is more muted. Okay, and then Sugar Junkie, one of my faves, another fave. <laughs> this is such a gorgeous, like, magenta, magenta-ish, fuchsia-ish, pretty pinkness. It's fabulous color. <laughs> it's a two-coater. And I will be wearing this all summer. So there you go. Pick this one up. If you don't pick this one up, you're going to say, I wish I would have picked this one up. And I'm going to say, I told you so. <laughs> and then here you can see how this polish looks in different lighting. It looks fabulous no matter what. And comparisons, here we have Cirque Gossip. I was sure it would be a dupe to that, but it's not. Essie Pencil Me In and Essie Swoon in the Lagoon are darker. As is like Essie Flowerista, it was darker. Guava Mama was more coral, and Strawberry Margarita by OPI was warmer. And then lastly, here we have Essie All Dolled Up, OPI and Flowered from the Nature Strong line, and Morgan Taylor, She's a Classic. You can see how those compare, and you guys can go and have a fabulous Sunday. All right, love you all. Have a great day. Bye.